folks, the World Series. Let's talk about the World Series for a moment. Of course, we all know the World Series is over now, Andy. I don't know if you're aware of this, but it's over. Oh. Yeah, it is. It's I over. <laughs> and, on, uh, and on Saturday, ladies and gentlemen, the Atlanta Braves defeated the Cleveland Indians in Atlanta in the sixth game. Yeah. Ah, yay, boo. They defeated them by a score of one to nothing. Now, Atlanta, of course, is jubilant about this. They're very excited. But, folks, what about the Cleveland Indians? How are they feeling right now? Mm. I mean, come on, let's, let's talk about this for a second. They lost the World Series. Plus, it's a Monday, you know, which is, mm. that's right. depressing, too. Right. I got both those things. Sure. So, anyway, I, I, I thought they must be pretty downhearted right now. And I thought, Andy, why don't you and I do something to try and lift their spirits? Okay. I mean, you know, try and do something good with this show. Yeah, besides Baby Monkey. Exactly. Right. <laughs> besides that. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a little segment we like to call Cheer Up the Cleveland Indians. Love that song. All right, first of all, Cleveland Indians, I'm talking right to you right now. You shouldn't feel so bad. You really should. I mean, just getting to play in the World Series is the achievement of a lifetime. I mean, there's a lot of great Americans who never, ever made it that far. For instance, Ernie Banks, Don Mattingly, Herschel Walker, Neil Armstrong, Hugh Hefner, the Six Million Dollar Man, and H.R. Puffin Stuff. These people never got that far. And besides, what were you really competing for anyway? Think about it, the World Series ring. I mean, I'll tell you something, folks. We got a hold of this year's edition of the World Series ring. It really isn't all that great. Take a look. It's really kind of, it just. <laughs> this is what all the fuss is here. Yep, can... and look. <laughs> it's stale. <laughs> Nothing's, hey. We'll toss that around. You could have saved a little for me. There's, it's on the floor. Yeah, I'll, I'll get, get it later. The monkey will get it. <laughs> the monkey will get it. All right, now folks, with the strike and everything else that's been going on in the news, we actually found out, we went out and found out, and this should be heartening to you, uh, Cleveland Indians, that no one even cares about the series in the first place. Let's take a look. Did you see the World Series on Saturday? No. Actually, it was a non-event for me. I didn't see it. He's the baseball I say it. Did you get a chance to see the series on Saturday? Oh, uh, no, I stopped watching when the Mariners lost. To tell you the truth, I really don't follow baseball that much. <laughs> Shouldn't feel bad. Now, now, some of you on the Indians are probably really upset about the endorsement deals that you're going to miss out on because you didn't win the World Series. But folks, Americans love the underdog, and there are a whole lot of new product lines tailor-made for spokesmen such as yourselves. Take a look. For example, the Ford Runner-Up. B. Then, of course, there's Nestle's new Failure Bar. <laughs> Plus, you guys will be on the cover of Let Your City Down magazine. <laughs> so, Ford Runner Up is a good car. That's right. Great pickup. Anyway, winners actually, uh, winners get a call from the President of the United States, and that's a really big deal. It's very cool. But, folks, each Cleveland Indian will receive a personal call from the President of Stagehand Local 257, Bobby Bowman. Hey, don't take it so hard. You did your best. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Of course they gotta go. <laughs> now, another thing, because you lost, you also won't be traveling around the country and hailed as heroes. But, on the good side, think of all the wonderful things your own hometown has to offer. There you go, Jacobs Field, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the Cleveland Tower, <laughs> the Statue of Cleveland, the Cleveland Canyon, the Ohio Pyramids, Mount Cleveland, and the fabulous Rings of Cleveland are all there for you. Wow. That's exciting. That's got to cheer them up. Now, if all this wasn't enough to cheer you up, we've actually taken the trouble to change the lyrics of Take Me Out to the Ball Game so that it more accurately reflects how the fans feel about you, the Cleveland Indians, right about now. Enjoy. Take me out to the ball game. Ch 
take me out to the crowd. I hope our team sucks. Yes, so do we. Nothing, Nothing turns, turns our stomach like victory. We identify with a loser because we're all losers ourselves. I'm a drunk, unemployed. I'm a deadbeat dad. And we're oh. impotent. That was very touching. Thank you, guys. All right, we hope that worked. We hope you feel better. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, David Hasselhoff is going to be in the building. Come on.